Today I'll be showing you a quick tour of the new Google TV interface. I have installed this on the OnePlus TV. So basically the home screen or the main page uh, that I opened over here, this basically reminds me more of a Fire TV stick. On the top you can see Google TV uh, written on the left corner and then there's the search button. It resembles the Google search voice assistant button on my remote. And then you have For You. This For You is basically the home page that curates content based on your Google account, uh, based on your previous watch history or maybe search history. Uh, based on that it will give you a promotional content or recommendations so on the main page you can see that there are uh, header images uh, of different titles there's whiplash from 2b there's youtube free birds there's also disney plus content secret society and uh, there's hbo max so uh, because uh, a lot of content is not available in india right now so that we need to keep it in mind uh, this is more designed for us based uh, region so that is the reason uh, we see a lot of apps that are not actually listed in india yet and also the content now apart from the header pages the next uh, row is I think recommendations are top picks for you. This is the top picks for me based on my search history, I guess, or my browser history, blacklist, redemption, OPP, I don't know, maybe these are based on the um, Google Assistant search that I have done on my OnePlus TV previously. So these are the recommendations that listed out. So let me just quickly open one movie that I know exists in India. Yeah. Here it is. Let me just click and what it shows is it directly shows where it is available. So it's on available on Netflix and I can easily click on it and watch it directly. Then I can add it to watch list if at all I want to or I can just say I've already watched it. So remove it from my list and the other one is rating it. So if at all I like it, um, maybe more similar content will be shown and if at all I dislike it lesser similar content will be shown on my recommendations which is good so i think i like this movie and i will say i have watched it i hope it will be removed from the pics no it still shows in top pics for me maybe i don't know maybe if i reload the home interface it will go so the next one is your apps this is the apps list similar to what we have seen in the previous android tv interface the popular app list but i think these are not the favorite apps these are based on uh, previously used or maybe previously updated kind of apps and uh, we can see see all this is the app drawer i think yeah this is the app drawer it shows all the apps so this app drawer has uh, taken a redesign i would say now the app drawer opens on the full screen rather than a half screen like earlier this is good and the next is trending on google so this is really nice uh, based on uh, what movie is trending on google it directly pulls up the data over here and shows it to you uh, this movie is released just today and it's nice to find it directly on the screen so it shows it's available on prime video and i would want to watch it later so i'll add it to my watch list that's nice i can directly click over here and uh, it'll start opening i think let me just check yes it is directly opening the movie that's great now these are all i think this is available on play movies that is the reason it is asking for rent yes i think there are very less uh, supported apps for india i think there's uh, Prime Video, YouTube and uh, Netflix, these are the only three apps that are supported right now or maybe 2B also that can be opened. The next one is Action Shows. I think these are basically recommendation based on different uh, genre. Action Shows, Adventure Fantasy Shows, Romantic Shows, Movies About Murder, Recommended Videos as I was seeing about uh, Google TV so I am getting similar recommendations, Sci-Fi Movies, Crime Shows, wow there is a lot of content available. I, it also knows that I watch Telugu movies so it is already giving the regional recommendations directly. This is really nice. I mean I didn't expect this. This is what is required on any uh, media streaming device to give personal content rather than uh, showing any promotional content. So this is really nice. Yes and uh, later we can see a lot of uh, categories or genres are shown here. 
बॉलीवुड मूवीज कॉमेडीज लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड एंड आई थिंक वी कैन चेंज द रिकमेंडेशन आई मीन सेटिंग्स फॉर द रिकमेंडेशन आई गेस लेट मी जस्ट चेक आई थिंक इट इज वी कैन डू इट आउटसाइड यू एस आई थिंक दैट रिकमेंडेशन ऑप्शन विल शो यू वॉट काइंड ऑफ जॉनर मूवीज और टाइटल्स यू वॉन्ट टू सी वॉट काइंड ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस यू प्रेफर एंड यू कैन सी दैट द मूवी दैट आई हैव सेलेक्टेड हैज वॉच इट हैज बीन रिमूव फ्रॉम माई टॉपिक्स दैट्स ऑल्सो अगेन अ गुड थिंग नाउ लेट्स गो टू द सेकेंड टैब इट इज मूवीज सो दिस टैब इज वेरी मच डेडिकेटेड फॉर ओनली मूवीज आई कैन सी यूट्यूब कंटेंट एच पी ओ मैक्स डिस्नी प्लस एच पी ओ मैक्स लेट मी ट्राई फेक इन ओपन डिस्नी प्लस इन इंडिया आई नो आई डोंट थिंक सो यस सो इट डजेंट ओपन बिकॉज द डिस्नी प्लस ऐप इज डिफरेंट फॉर यू एस रीजन दे स्टार्स दीज आर द पॉपुलर फिल्म्स आई थिंक इन यू एस right now the popular films these are the new films that are released this is also really good pulled up a lot of data from different apps movies from my watch list this is my watch list this is really nice my watch list is directly shown over here these are trending on google action movies again i think just like the home screen we can see a different genre of uh, movies listed over here now when you're scrolling through the movies if at all you want to add any movie to your watch list quickly you can just long press on the title and you will get this menu where you can watch the trailer and add it to watch list and also like or dislike and if you click the view details it will take you to the page of the title uh, right now it's available i think on the google tv that's the reason it's showing over that uh, you can even try this kingsman so it's available on the sling So this is a nice feature where you don't need to enter into the title you can directly do it from the home screen itself by long pressing and another good feature that i have uh, observed is just below the details of the title you can see the details of the cast and crew over here you can see the director the actors and all you can uh, directly click on them and uh, you will be getting so basically you will be getting all the content related to that uh, actor or director or producer anyone so this is a nice thing if at all i want to watch any christopher nolan movie i can directly get the list over here and i'll know where these movies are available on which platform this is a really nice thing and apart from that uh, just below the cast entry you can also see similar movies listed over here so this is also a nice thing this is very similar to uh, the google assistant uh, page that we are seeing in the android 9 uh, tv os uh, but this is more refined i would say this is more um, clean and refined and uh, apart from that now let's go to the next tab this is shows now in the shows these are basically the tv shows you can see content from youtube crackle hbo max apex so these are different tv shows and you can see there are popular tv shows tab new tv shows that are available on different platforms these are the shows from my watch list that i've added recently this is also nice that it is categorizing based on uh, tvs and uh, tv shows and movies and directly showing it to you as a watch list in the tab itself these are the trendings action shows again there are different uh, categories of uh, tv shows just like the movies i think you can uh, long press over here also yes you can just long press and get all the details about the title this is very nice now the next tab is apps so this apps tab is basically the play store the android tv play store that is pulled out and uh, presented in the single page these are header images of some sponsored apps next is your apps that are installed on your tv next up is search for apps this is basically search for apps a voice search for searching whatever app you want to search in the play store these are the categories of apps that you can filter through for quick search let's just say productivity you can see a tab of apps open so this is just like uh the play store itself just that uh, instead of uh, different pages 
everything is uh, displayed in the same page as the rows. Now let me just see if at all there's uh, yeah yeah. So there are games that we can play with remote. This is really nice. I mean, this was missing in the previous uh, Play Store uh, interface. Now you know which of the apps that you can directly play with the remote. So this you can install and play with your remote. Other than that, you can also see the games that you can play with the gamepad that are listed over here. This keeps changing whenever you reload the content available keeps changing. That is really good. Now, next up is library. So this library is the watch list. This shows the watch list that we have created either on the home screen or we have created from a, our phone browser. Now, let's just say I want to add some movie from my phone to the watch list. Uh, let's try maybe Mission Impossible. Yeah, let's try Mission Impossible. Mm, I think it can't do series. Let's try one movie, Mission Impossible 1. See over here, you can see that uh, there's a watch list option directly on the Chrome browser. Uh, and this is linked to my Google account. That's exactly the same Google account that has been linked over here in the Google TV. So what I can do is I can just click on the watch list over here that it is been added to watch list. Uh, we can just wait one or two seconds see exactly in two to three seconds maximum it uh, populates over here on the tv in the watch list let's just try another series maybe uh, yes true detective uh, let me click add it to the watch list let's see if it populates yes as you can see it is very easy this is such a great feature you can easily add movies tv shows from various devices directly to your tv oh i would say this is one of my favorite feature in the new google tv interface now apart from the library tab we can also see the accounts tab over here so once we click it we get a nice uh, materialistic uh, widget opening and this has not much of information as frankly to say so it has settings so when you click on settings it actually pulls out the settings page of your tv whichever it is now the next one is your time and uh, i think it can show weather also i don't know but right now it's not showing anything except for the time so this is uh, a neat looking uh, widget i would say and there's also notifications i don't know what notifications it will show maybe something related to smart home uh, but I have no notifications right now So that's about it. Uh, as you can see This is the new interface of the Google TV that we will be seeing in the future in all the Android TVs uh, Basically Google says that all the Android TVs will be soon converted into Google TV I'm not sure whether the existing Android TVs will also be converted into this or only the future upcoming android tvs will be converted to this but it will be really good if at all this can be pushed as an update to all the existing android tvs which are at least on the android 9 so that everyone can enjoy this uh, new interface so that's about it i hope this video was helpful for you guys let me know in the comments what you think about it whether you like the previous interface or the new interface and uh, do note that uh, this will not work in india i am using us uh, servers that is the reason i am able to see all this but in india it doesn't show any of this all recommendations it just shows your apps and uh, the app store this page and the library these are the only things that work in india uh, so that's a bummer but at least uh, if at all you want to just have a feel of how it might look the future so you can try it also let me know if at all you want me to make a tutorial on how to install this on your android tv or oneplus tv Make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. Bye and take care.